Hey YouTube, second flight here, maiden flight, uh, maiden series I should say, uh, 4,000 pack this time. Um, we'll give this a whirl. Uh, noticing the battery definitely needs to go all the way forward. Uh, to get CG right. Still dealing with a slight pitch up. I'm going back into my low rates. Come by here. A uh, good visibility even with the clouds. Uh, this has got a nice light package on it, but it's more about the paint scheme today. Um, I mean, most of the time this time of year, this is what we're dealing with. It, it's The sun peaked out earlier today, uh, briefly. Had, the, had we had batteries to go at that point, we might have gotten a little bit better footage, but it didn't last long. We're gonna try a touch and go here. If I can get that to work this time. No. Oops. No is definitely too thick to or too sloggy to slosh to do a touch and go. Uh, let's see if I can get it going right from there. Take off flaps in. Uh, she's gonna be stuck. Yeah. Down to the bottom. Of course heavier battery in here too. Uh, although I'm not really sure. See if we can get up with full flaps. There, I got a full up elevator on that and landing flaps. Do a flyby here. Kind of see those lights, they're not bad. Uh, the, no, the front uh, landing lights are really nice. Uh, but the side lights, actually expected them to light up a little bit better today. Um, while it's cloudy, the snow does create bright conditions. Definitely like the low rates um, so far the best so we'll definitely probably be making some adjustments um, with that I 
just, especially in high rates out of safe, it seems too pitchy, especially on the roll access, or not pitchy, but the roll access is, is, is too touchy for, for my comfort. Everybody has their different opinions about Expo. I think I'm running 20% Expo on uh, high with 100% rates. Um, I, the book has 70% for low rates. I think I have 25% Expo. And then my mid rates, 85% uh, and I think also 25% Expo. We'll go up. Definitely performs pretty well, um, even with the floats on. Uh, better than my uh, um, my Otter. Because of course, the Otter's 3S. This is 4S. That that power makes a huge difference with those floats on. by here again you kind of see those lights strobes there's a uh, hazard beacons also on the top and the bottom of the airplane the red hazard lights uh, you're not seeing those today those aren't super bright that's that's gonna be for a twilight type of video which I, I may not ever have on this plane because again it, it's gonna be strictly a float plane for me at least at this point But the red, uh, even on a day like today, really helps. Uh, really good paint scheme on this, in my opinion. You should be able to fly this in about any type of sky condition and be able to see it. You could probably hover this plane. In fact, I know you can hover this plane. I've seen other people do it. Kinda. Not much in the 3D yet. This does have some of that capability. Uh, probably much more capable without the floats on. So, wanted to get a video in. It, it's been a while, uh, running out of things to show on the channel. I am putting together kind of a year in review uh, of my first year, so look for that. I don't know if I'll have this release first or my year in review released first but I'll have that hopefully on the channel shortly kind of cover all some of the things that uh, I experienced this year just general flying and then the kind of the mishaps if you will the the bad landings the crashes the the odd um, or some of the crazy things that happened this year uh, not just with flying uh, some of it uh, with my uh, um, RC boats if you've seen any of those videos so uh, look for that Forgot to reset my timer, so I think what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna bring this in shortly. I'll go up one more time. Her timer says it's almost time to end because her fingers are getting cold. I've been told that the camera person has uh, a union that uh, says if her fingers get cold, she turns it off. So. We'll respect the union and we'll bring it in for a landing here. I think maybe the union is going to have to get camera person a better set of gloves for this stuff. Part timers not opposed to that. Of course, the union's me. At least from the here I've been running. Oh no, I'm not in takeoff laps. 
there we are. Now the flap setting on this, I think, is like at least 16% on takeoff and almost 30 on landing. That's one of the biggest adjustments uh, I have on any plane. There you go, YouTube. Uh, not a bad maiden. We'll take that. See if I can taxi it over here. Pull up elevator. Yeah, she'll move. Just got to keep it all the way up. Doesn't turn very well because no rudders. But uh, again, like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Uh, and again, always appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Mark with Ultimate RC. All right, YouTube. So I just wanted to show where I have the battery. Um, again, this is the 4030C RC batteries all the way forward. Um, curiously, if you get a, and you can't stand this up, there's no room for that. So I can't utilize this space here. Um, but wondering how, like maybe a 2200 4S might do with CG. Uh, the reason I mentioned that, let's see if I can show this. So, got it marked per the book. Marks are on the wing underneath. You can see those. If I go all the way to the back, it is level, which ideally in this configuration, you would want it to be a little bit nose heavy. And then when you go all the way front, of course you're gonna be tail heavy and it is. Um, I didn't do any mechanical adjustments on the setup. It didn't look like it needed it. Again, I did have to put a decent amount of trim um, for the elevator while I was flying on the Maiden. And then let's just check. So it is about a five minute flight time on the battery. Uh, and double check my transmitter again. No telemetry with the RC battery. So. I actually call Horizon about that. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, I know this plane was released a couple of years ago, but I would think that this plane should have telemetry with any battery pack. Most of theirs do. Uh, not nearly as much battery left as I did on the 3300. I did a, a five minute flight time. Um, and I had almost 48% left. I have 8% left on a little over a five and a half minute flight time with the heavier pack. So, um, although admittedly, I did put it in to um, a little bit, did a lot more performance flying with it. So that, that may have something to do with it uh, in that regard. So probably five minute timer is safe on this, but I just wanted to show that. Um, we'll see how many more flights I can get on the channel here. We are forecast to have very warm weather for the first part of February. So our foot and a half of snow, this is this is all that's left of it. Uh, you, After this fell, you would have a hard time walking through this field. I didn't do any flying, it was super cold. Uh, figured I was gonna get a lot of flights with this. Uh, not sure, we'll see. Um, if I can get it on the channel, we will. Otherwise, maybe March when the lake opens up, I might do some early um, water flights uh, if my buddy uh, Mark D uh, wants to go and do some water flying he has a canoe so if something happens we can go retrieve the plane so but again I uh, just wanted to show that YouTube again thanks for walking, watching uh, like and subscribe hit the bell Mark with Ultimate RC hey YouTube Mark with Ultimate RC uh, first time on the channel I do have the uh, e-flight turbo timber evolution no, this is not the 2.0 meter version that was just released, the balsa version. This is the 1.5 meter. Uh, this is about as big as plane as I would want to go with. Uh, this is going to be a maiden flight uh, on the snow. We're going to see how well it taxis here. Not the greatest. I've got the, uh, it's got fins for in the water at the uh, rudders to control it. I've got those released so when you come in to land, uh, those don't hit. Uh, so there's probably going to be limited taxi ability here, but uh, let's, uh, let's put this up in the air. Uh, 4S3300 RC batteries. All right. 
Here we go. All right. I did that with no flaps. Got off the ground pretty quick. Uh, not sure how this will trim out here today. It feels like it's pitching up, which is typically something. I always seem like I have pitch down problems on a maiden, but uh, I think I got an up pitch. I'm in safe. I'll take it out of that once. I definitely got to pitch up. Still kind of significant. Uh, Also flying with my mittens on because it's winter, but it's actually about high 30s. I actually can get out and fly. Um, it's been real cold. We got a foot and a half of snow, um, but it's been near 40 all week and rain, and so a lot of that has melted. I almost thought I wasn't going to have any snow to fly on today. Um, it's definitely still got a. pitch up with it there uh, but the main goal of this plane is to do exactly this I'm gonna leave the floats on it um, and I'll probably use it for snow flying and then also for uh, the occasional water flight down here of course I do all my water flying up north I don't really have it this is the first pontoon plane I have here it may eventually go up north we'll see I think what I'm gonna do is we'll bring it around, we'll try and practice a touch and go here. I think I got it trimmed a little bit better. A lot of flap correction per the book. In my mid rates right now, I definitely, uh, I think I'll probably adjust the high rates. A little too sensitive for my liking, especially on the roll. Alright. That's not going to be in front of the camera, so we'll bring it around. <laughs> Try it again. Not a lot of wind today. Uh, very light out of the north. And we'll go to landing flaps here. But I haven't flown in at least three weeks, maybe longer. And I haven't really got any okay, sticky snow. Um, let's see if I can. Nope, she's gonna be stuck. Let me go correct it. The problem, the snow's so wet right now that uh, this is probably not a good representation of, of how this plane might handle in the snow because I don't want to say we're flying in slush, but it's, it's, it's pretty close given all the rain we got the last couple of days. Um, I was hoping to maybe do a couple of touch and goes today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Let's uh, take off flaps in here. I'm actually going to go to low rates once, see if I like that better. Here we go. Takes a little bit to get off, but again, I think that's really the because uh, of the heavy wet snow we're dealing with here.
course this plane is supposed to be pretty nimble but that uh, that's without the floats on let's see what she can do Definitely liking the low rates better. I think I will make some adjustments on my high rates. Put it in the safe real quick. Alright, we're gonna bring it around. I'm not getting a telemetry reading, which that's surprising. Uh, I've not had that problem since the Mustang, the 1.5, but that was the first smart plane uh, that they released. And uh, you have to have a smart battery to get telemetry with this expecting to get it I don't I don't have it all right well five minute timer I could probably go longer than this but I don't know uh, so we're just gonna play it safe bring it in here you can see the uh, those landing lights on the nose is pretty nice there stops pretty quickly this plane is supposed to have reverse thrust on it I don't have it set up because obviously in something like this you don't you don't need it so um, when I get to water flights I'll probably demonstrate that um, but there you go uh, not bad for a maiden flight um, We'll see if we can get maybe a, a flight or more two in here today. I'm not sure how well the video is going to show up, and I'm not sure if this will be first or not. But uh, like and subscribe, YouTube. Hit the bell. Uh, let YouTube know that this is the type of content that you want to see. And again, I appreciate your support, Mark with Ultimate RC. All right, so I got my checker here with. Let's let's just see what we have for battery voltages. I. Um, that was a little over a five minute flight. Again, RC batteries, 3300, uh, 60C. You can also have a 40C, and I am going to try maybe a 4000 today. Again, we'll see if any of this stuff, uh, how well it records and what I get on for videos. 48%. I kind of figured we'd be able to go a lot longer than uh, um, five minutes. Uh, but you know maiden so don't know so there there you have it um, we'll we'll see if we can get another flight in here thanks YouTube